Hey, this is Scott at GetAgrowed.com. I'm thrilled as always that you're checking out my videos. I got some stuff, some more stuff that I want to share with you about good, you know, organics that you can put into the soil that can really encourage and enhance growth of your plants, encourage and enhance, you know, activity and growth with, you know, the, um, with the, um, uh, the enzymes and the microbiology that's in your garden, okay? So we're going to talk about some organic stuff. And in particular, I want to talk about dried blood or blood meal. It can come in different names, I, I suppose. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and he had made a comment and said, man, you know, organic gardening is so hard. And I was pretty quick to respond to say, no, it's not that it's hard. It's just that a lot of us just don't have the information. We don't really know what's organic. And so we just run to the store or we order stuff online and say, well, this promises to do A, B, or C. It seems like everything's in one bag and we can just do it and, and just be, you know, and just be done with it and move on. I'm telling you, organic gardening is nowhere near as difficult as some people think and fear that it is. It's really about information it's about knowledge and I'm telling you that's what I'm here for man I am passionate about gardening I'm passionate about growing food you know for better health and better living so I want to talk to you about organics one of the best things that you can put into your soil at the beginning of the season is dried blood this stuff is completely organic uh, it's quality stuff and it's high big time it's like 13 on the on the scale for the uh, for, for the rating of fertilizers it's on 13 for nitrogen this stuff will boost your soil when your plants get in there and the root system start going because of that nitrogen you're going to get a lot of green you're going to get a lot of a lot of growth that comes out of this blood meal i want to show it to you and just to kind of give you a look at it it's very dried stuff it's not cakey or or, or anything like that this is a, a brand that i use you can see it says that it's organic you know so there it is blood meal as you see it right there it's an all natural plant food and I'll just show you the inside of this thing. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm actually touching blood. But this stuff, this stuff is, uh, you know, there's nothing bad in here. This is all pretty good stuff. So you can see it. It's almost like a soil. Uh, good quality stuff. Like I said, it's really dry. It doesn't stick or mat or anything like that. I don't know if blood sounds kind of gross to you. But in this case, don't let it gross you out. Let pesticides and let synthetic, uh, you know, fertilizers, let that stuff gross you out, but not this natural stuff. This is some of the best stuff that you can put into your garden. And you don't need a whole lot of it. Now, organic gardening does cost a little bit more money. There's no doubt about it. Now, I do a huge garden. So when I'm all done and getting everything ready, that, yeah, it's going to cost me a few more bucks. For, for many of you that are watching, you know, these videos, your gardens tend to be much smaller than what it is that I'm working with. So you may be talking, yeah, a little bit more money, but we're not talking big bucks, you know. So if it costs you an extra $50 or an extra $100 for a growing season, think about what you are going to pull out of your garden. Good quality, organic vegetables that I'm telling you money can't buy. You can get the best produce that comes out of your garden for an extra, what, $50 or $100? I'll give you the information. If you'll be inspired and you'll grab it and go, it'll make all the difference in the world. Thanks for checking out my videos. Keep growing, man. Keep it as organic as you can, okay? Little step at a time. Just a little at a time and we'll get there. Thanks for checking out my video. Peace out.